someone puts in much more crazy details. What, just cover up the rough bits? Uh, uh yeah. Let's get to the workshop. Right, and so back of the 60s truck, we've got some problems because these two like retractable Dagmars, I panel gap these the other week and bodywork this whole section and it looked fantastic. But then I started thinking, how am I gonna get them out? And for as much as I've looked at altering the mechanism on the back, there is just no way of taking these inwards to get them out through the wheel arch. They have to come forward. So I've had back all of that filler that was around here, made some modifications at the back, reset these. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a chrome trim that fits around these and back to there. So we'll remove the trim, then we can remove the bullets, paint all that, bullets go back on, get fitted and leveled, and then the chrome trim goes on and everything looks excellent. Um, it's just one of those things where you're thinking, will I just get away with doing that? And the answer is always, no, you won't, because you just never get away with anything. It always comes back to bite you. So let's get this bit body worked up, and then let's get some glass on there and see where we're going with this, because I've got a few de um, sort of design ideas that far from this being a problem that's gonna make it look worse, this is a problem that is gonna bring forth something that's gonna look a lot, lot better. Right, so first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna cover it, all the bits, I'm gonna put fiberglass on with masking tape. Now, there's been some debate over what is the best tape. And I use some of the brown parcel tape, that's very good, things come away good, leaves a lot of residue. So a lot of residue clearing, but I've realized if you use masking tape, mask it all up, let the uh, fiberglass dry, then spray it with water. This tape just loses all its grip and it drops off. So I'm in the masking tape camp now. I'm, f I'm in there. This is a hill I will die on. Really? Masking tape. It's the way forward. Right, and so I'm going to mask this up. Then we'll get some glass on. It's all masked up and ready to rock. I've made sure I've got well in to all the sort of details because this is going to fit up to that, just like so many other things on this car, just fit up. And you know what? I'm not that bothered about the final fix. I've found that just bedding everything on Bondo afterwards gets them gaps absolutely millimetre perfect. So, you know, the odd sort of crease and overlap, I'm not too worried about. I used to worry about it. I used to worry about it a lot, but no more. So what I'll do is uh, lay some glass up on here and then uh, we'll see where we're going from there. I've got some good ideas on this one. I'm not gonna show you the fiberglass in because I think you've seen me do that before. So let's just skip to the end when this is all dry and done. And now it's all finished and what I'm going to do, I'm going to hack this off with the chisel and then we can bodywork this on the bench and get this whole sort of chrome trim around the two rear Dagmars really cool. So, ham and chisel. Right, 
we have this, which is quite abstract, but it's going to become a thing of true beauty. So if I offer that up, obviously it fits on there absolutely sort of seamlessly perfect. So now I've got to sort of design and think of where this needs to go. So it definitely needs, no matter what, to fill these uneven gaps because it just doesn't look very, uh, it just doesn't look professional. So I'm going to mark it up, then we'll trim a bit off, and then we'll mark it again, trim a bit more off, and so on until it looks awesome. Let's do it. So then, I've, I've sort of, I've just roughly gone round that. The thing I don't want to do is cut too much off. So I'm thinking it'll come round that. In fact, I'm not going to have it there. I'll have it around there. I don't want it up in that middle bit. But maybe down to a point at the bottom. I'm not too sure at the minute. But I'll cut a bit off and then a bit more. It's, it's, it's an organic process, definitely, yeah. And I'd like to say, you know what I mean, you don't want to cut uh, too much off because you can't stick it back on, but... Of course you can, so it's not really that much jeopardy, is so. It's not like we're going to lose the shop! None of that here. This is real life. So, let's have a look. I'll get the angle grinder, let's trim this out, and then see how it looks trimmed up. I'm not even sure if that looks better or not, but hey, let's try it on the car again, and then maybe let's settle it a little bit more and get it until it looks cool. See, there's a few problems with the shape still. Um, I think this could be a lot nicer. Uh, around this other side, this could be a little bit better, so we, we could bring a bit in there. Bottom bit's not looking too bad, though. Maybe a little bit off there. I don't want to go too far. But at this point, what I want to do, I want to see where these bits are going to interfere with this, because I've got a bit of a plan to keep these a little bit longer than you might think. Okay, so we don't want these sticking out, these trims sticking out too much, getting in the way of this. So I'm just going to check how far I can sort of push my rock. Wow. So then we can see here on the top. I can't really do a lot other than just have the ring, but definitely the bottom here, I've got some sort of leeway. I'm gonna cut them to something about that. If you look, you know, this is this is an incredibly accurate mark. Um, yeah. Mm. Let's see what I can do there. This part here really is super tight in there, and I don't want to actually, I don't want to make any modifications to this. So this bit has got to be cut right back. Yeah, the bottom looks pretty damn good. So more trimming. This, this is starting to get there now, and I'm just going to say I think it's still going to catch, but. It does still catch, but I think I can I can just about get away with that. I've still got a bit on there, so that bit is thin. I'll grind a bit off this, a bit more off this, and then I'll probably tape it into place, activate this a couple of times, 
Just make sure we're not going to get anything catching there. And then I'll bodywork this up. After probably a little bit more trimming, it's still not quite right. Well, look at how thin this bit is. Um, you know, from that absolute behemoth of fiberglass, we've whittled it down to this. But that is looking pretty good. I should just do the opening test again. <laughs> Ooh, it holds it there nicely. Now that does still catch a bit. So I'm going to take even more off of that bit. That bit has got super, super thin. Oh, so that sort of fits there. It still does catch a little bit, but I do think now I could probably sand a bit off of here that would release that. So that is pretty, pretty damn good. And of course, we need just to check it with the bullets actually out. So let's see how that would look. So there we go. That is on and looking really good. I have plans for this, so hopefully these will be sort of crenellated around the outside here. So they'll have lots of little lines, a little bit, a little bit like the much maligned and very misunderstood 59 Caddy light. And hopefully, you know, they're gonna look really, really cool. So I think now a few more marks, perfect that shape and get some fill on them. Okay then, so I've bodyworked it and I've painted it black. Here it is. Oh, shiny, shiny. And it's black because this is gonna have like the chrome effect, then like gold candy over it. This will be shiny, shiny gold. And it goes on there. Which admittedly, don't fit at the minute because I've refilled this part, but once that's sanded down, this will fit on perfectly. And the Dagmars, they're gonna be gold as well. So it's really gonna look good. And uh, it covers a multitude of sins. That's come quite really nice. Oh, I'm really close up there. Da, 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 da. Still needs polishing. The black will be even shinier than this. But that's for a different episode when we make this become gold. One more component. <gasps> a tick. Okay, let's take a minute just to thank everyone who's shown their appreciation and done the buy me a coffee thing. It really does help us here at Custom Works and it really does mean a lot. And if you'd like to show your appreciation in the future, the link is down below. In other news, I, uh, I put like this insane exhaust on the back of the parts getter material, which is going to be called the Atari, because like, you can make the word Atari out of material. Yeah, anyway, let's take a look at that.
it is, back of the material with its crazy exhaust pipe. It's even got the lenses on the lights now. Of course, this is all covered in rain because we're in the UK and all that ever happens here is rain, rain, rain. But it's going to be the summer, so that'll be better. That's all for this week. I will see you next week. Until then, I thank you very much and good night.